So, would you just say a little bit more? You've got two Macs, one of which is an iPad. Oh yeah, well um, I'm using, uh, I'll just shut it down, but I'm using Ableton Live on my MacBook Pro. Yeah. And then I've built a local wireless network on the Mac. I've added the iPad to the network. Right. And that enables me to run this iOS app called Lima. Yeah. And uh, this then enables me to control Ableton Live on the Mac from wherever I am on the network. Which in this case happens to be that far away. Right, so but it could have been a little bit redundant, but it could be anywhere, and it does give you some nice extra little hands-on things that are harder to do. You know, on here, like effects. So that that could have, that was that was effectively recording something. Could be. No, this is this is a controller, is, purely a controller. So that controls that. Yeah. You, that would have done live recording. Hmm? That could have done live recording of what uh, was going on. In the side, the application itself, you can record. Right. You can hit a record button before you start and it records your whole set. But right. I don't really like to do that because I just like it to kind of disappear. You know, I like oh. it to be in frame rate. Right, right. I like okay. Be, <laughs> I don't like to record it, but uh, yeah, this is just a very nice control system. Yeah, well, it, was, it, all, it all worked really well. Oh, yeah, it's very stable actually. I enjoy, I enjoy using this. Uh, yeah. 